Hello, everyone. You're in the office with Joseph Skoda. Yes, you know, uh, sometimes we look at things and the perception is a little bit off from what we expect. And we, we know that there's fake people out there and and um, a lot of women wear makeup. We don't really know what they look like uh, during the day and, and wigs and different things in life. And we need to be a little bit careful because it's okay to enhance things. It's okay to put your best foot forward. It's okay to... Um, fix something that you might find awry. You know, for instance, we, we all love flowers. At least we love the smell of them. Even you guys may not uh, talk about how much you love flowers, but we, we, we all can agree that this is a fake fake rose, fake yellow rose, right? Fake leaves, it's actually a candle holder, real common and popular. But we know that this isn't real. We're not going to expect it to smell like a rose, unless, of course, the candle is rose smelling. It was some kind of perfume or something. But we know sometimes we can point out and see something right away and say, that's not real. You're 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 joshing me. I understand. Like for instance, I do a lot of videos with the green screen in the background. I'm not always at the beach. I'm not always in the mountains. I'm not always skydiving. It's part of my background. Now this is a real background. This is actually a, a real lamp behind me, a little uh, you know, maybe a little outdated or something, but it's a real lamp, and you can see the the, the fake flowers behind me, fake fake uh, fake bush and trees, and that's okay. It brings a little bit of decoration and it highlights different areas of our home, and that's always exciting to see. But how often we run into people that we think are real and turn out not to be as real as we think they are. Well, you're in the office with Joseph Skoda. I know about being real and not being real, and I, too, have over-elaborate or exaggerate things that were not quite true, like a lot of us do. You know, now what about, like, for instance, see this tennis ball? It's a tennis ball. It's a, it's a Wilson tennis ball. Now, it's real. It's a real one, and I bought it from, well, I don't know where I bought it, but probably came in a pack of four or five, but I don't use it to play tennis. If I'm telling you I'm, I'm going out to play tennis – it's probably not true. I'll tell you a secret. Back when I was in high school, I was undefeated. Well, me and me and my partner, we were undefeated in tennis. And that was a long time ago. I don't even know how the scoring works today. Why well, use this ball to rub my foot on? I've got plantar fasciitis, flat feet. And sometimes I get a lot of pain in, in my feet, my ankle, my heel. And this helps break things up and so I can walk again, relieve some of the pain. So sometimes we'll grab something that is intended for one purpose and we'll use it for another. I mean, how often do you grab, well, you're not going to grab a slipper, maybe like this to, to, to kill a fly on the wall rather than a fly swatter or use, a, I, I don't know, a, a screwdriver <laughs> to, to pound a nail on the wall. We've all done those things. Is, is that really fake or just not utilizing something for its proper purpose? Now, that's a good point, because if you're strong, if your integrity is strong, and if your core core values are strong, you can pretty much take anything coming your way. Like, like I said, a, a screwdriver, even a butter knife to knock in a, a nail on the wall, provide it's of good quality. It's soundproof, and, and you have a good aim, because a butter knife can slide off a nail all day long. We know that. And those things are understandable. But that's not the intent of purpose. It's to put butter or jam on top of our bread, right? Of course, we use screwdri uh, butter knives and screwdrivers as well as hammers. We all have. But you and I know the difference between a cheap quality butter knife and even screwdriver than one of quality. One of quality could take a beating. And that should be you and I. We should be able to take a beating in life if things go array or awry they call it but we're not really sure what's going on now these are real glasses and you probably see me with different prop glasses over over the years i've got some big ones some small ones some far out glasses even st patty's day i've got the little hats on top of the lenses but they're real but i did not quite wear glasses on a regular basis till probably a few months ago because I'm in denial. I don't want people to know I have to wear glasses. And I don't. I can see uh, far away just fine. Just fine. It's just the little details. How do I turn the computer on and off? What's the, uh, the Zoom button? <laughs> All those little things. So I I'm a little more comfortable wearing them 
now more than ever before, but I, I still don't like to wear glasses. But the alternative is I could be blind or stuck uh, putting those um, contacts in my eyes, which could cause some pain over time. I used to do that also. I had LASIK surgery many years ago, and it lasted 10 years. And I got a little bit spoiled. You know, where you get to wear whatever color sunglasses you want or what style without having to worry about if you can see out of them or not, because I could see. And that was a big deal. So we talk a little bit about, um, you, you know, obviously our, our, our phones are real. When we're doing some acting or we want to have a good photo op or a good photo shoot, we kind of put things in the background to make it, you know, stand out, make it look just a little bit better. But we have to be aware of fake people. Yeah, we know there's cosmetic surgery, and, and sometimes not all of our body parts are, are real. But uh, fake people is more like someone who says one thing and does something else. Someone who appears on the outside to have it going on, and sometimes they're stabbing someone in the back when we don't even know about it. We have to pay attention to that. More often than not, well, not more often than not, but it's been told to me, there's people I'm, I'm friends with, and Later on, someone would come to me like, you know what he's saying behind your back, right? You know what they're doing to sabotage or, or make you look bad, right? And I'm, I have a good judge of character, I like to think so, and I do trust people, and I give people second, third, even fourth chances. I usually don't have a problem with that, as long as they're sincere and trying to come back. But we have to pay attention because others are watching others also. And if you're the one causing the gossip, <laughs> shame on you. How dare you stop gossiping and talking behind people's back? Now, we, we all look at people walking down the road and point out, look at those shoes or what a funny hat or, well, I can't believe they dress like that. We all do that to a point. We need to be a little bit careful about that because any one of us could be dressed a different way. Um, if our finances were different, if uh, our house burned down, our relationships went sour we can all be in a, a you know once again that dis disarray um, area of our lives where things aren't quite as expected and and that's okay if you know someone who is kind of down to dumps or uh, life just isn't going their way they're going through a bad chapter of their lives and we all do we all do so a little bit of compassion a little bit of consideration and even if someone has gossiped or backstabbed you have that one-on-one -on -one conversation like what's wrong with you or what's wrong with me why would you talk that way about me now most likely they're going to get defensive i never said that i didn't do that who told you that i'm going to talk to them right now well let's be careful because it, you know if one person says this, this person's talking bad about you see if anyone else is also because there's, we live in a life of jealousies. We live in a, a, a world of insecurities. We live at a time where everyone's trying to get the edge on someone else. So be a little bit careful where that news comes from also, because it could hurt us. And we may be hurting someone who unintentionally did or said something that could cause us a, a little bit of pain or trouble or make us look bad in someone else's eyes. It happens. It's, it's the world we live in. Oh, when we're looking at the, you know, that, that rose with the candle that yeah, actually it smells vanilla. I don't know if a yellow rose is supposed to smell vanilla or not, but it smells good. But, you, you know, we have to scrutinize the people we hang out with, scrutinize the, the things that we see. You know, some people do wear hair pieces. Okay, so what? I wear a lot of hats um, usually, and I, I like it. I'm afraid my hair is going to thin out a little bit if I wear them too much. So I have to be a little bit careful there. Because if you wear a hat too much, you could lose your hair. If you're in the sun too much, it could burn and even cause cancer to your skin. If you sit on the couch all day and do videos rather than getting some exercise, that can cause a whole bunch of different medical problems that we just don't need in our lives. So it's important just to find out what makes people tick. Listen to them. Because we, we also jump to conclusions really quickly we want everything done now. We want to get rich quick. We want the success when we wake up in the morning. I do too. But enjoy that journey along the way. Even enjoy the people that 
you learn something from that you may not have got along with or that person that did you wrong? Is there a lesson learned? Is there some reason that happened? I believe that God knows everything going around us. He does. He does. And he lets us make our own mistakes, our own will. He does. And and I, I believe he just waits for us to ask him for help. Okay, God, you know, I know I screwed up again. Please guide me. Please help me. Or or please help me learn to forgive this person over here. Or, or uh, dear Lord, um, I'm hurting right now. Please, please work on that person's heart so they can ask my forgiveness one day. Or, or whatever that is. We're all going through stuff. There's all we, we all have junk in our lives. We have stuff we don't want people to know about. We put on that facade. I love John Cena. Can't see me. He can't see me. And he's a professional wrestler. And I love wrestling. And I was fortunate enough to see WrestleMania in L.A. a couple months back. And that's exciting. And we know it's not all real, but th that's okay. They are athletic. They are very entertaining. And someone's going to get hurt. That's not planned. And we just have to be aware. Yeah, there's a little bit of acting here and there everywhere. But there's some real stuff in there also. So when someone comes out or, or you see them, they always appear fake, fake, fake. Listen when they when they kind of humble themselves or let down their guard a little bit. Because we let down our guard a little bit, people are watching and listening. Sometimes for a weakness, don't get me wrong. Sometimes they want to see where we're weak. But they also want to know if we're real. And I have no problem showing my, my weakness and my humbleness. Not all the time. There are times I'm guarded also, and maybe I'm not even guarded enough. And we have to be careful about those times in our life also. Do whatever it takes to uh, achieve what you want in the world and, and drag it and bring people up with you so you can all succeed together. You can all succeed at the same time. I like Hmm, okay, they were they were fake among others, but they're real with me. They belong in my inner circle. And be careful who you live in the inner circle because they, you guys, you're going to know things about one another that doesn't need to get out of that circle. So be really careful. And sometimes you have to get someone in the boot. Say, hey, Sally Sue, I appreciate knowing you the last couple of years, but right now I'm not so sure. I, I can trust you, or I just I don't want to work with you right now. Maybe sometime in the future, and and ask God to help you forgive and, and get through that. That's important. That's why God's there. He created us, and let us have free will, and that free will gets us into trouble and causes sin. It is. It is. It is what it is. Now understand, all of our politicians. I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat, Green Party, whatever it is, they're doing their best to look good in front of the public eye. Totally understandable. It's a big job they have, but pay attention to those that are keep glossing over the real issues. We have a lot of politicians, especially today's government. What we have, there's a lot of things that gloss over and, and try to distract you from. What's really going on? It happens in life. So be careful to take care of yourself. Protect yourself and talk to your loved ones. If there's a concern out there, do you see your, your son or your daughter hanging out with some people you might question? And, and remember, that's, that's face value. You might not know that person either. So take time to figure it out. But make sure we, we help our kids understand the importance of uh, being aware of being informed of scrutinizing when we have to, because sometimes we do. So scrutinize when you need to. Uh, don't be fake. Look out for the fake people. But don't be afraid to apologize. Don't be afraid to ask for forgiveness. Don't be afraid to give a second chance. With that being said, you're in the office with Joseph Skoda. Enjoy the fake plants, the real plants, and the people out there are once again scrutinized when necessary. Have a great day now. Bye. If you liked our show, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or find us on any social media platform, Instagram, of course, Facebook. Like, subscribe, share. We appreciate it. Let us know your thoughts and join our team. Anyways, we appreciate you staying tuned week after week, day after day, because we continuously Build up our network to bring to you what you're asking for. Have a great day.